So when we solve the integration for a function f x from the limit a to b, we are actually computing the area under the curve. The function f x inside the integration is called the integrand. If the integrand is given in a simple continuous function format such as the polynomial, exponential, as well as the trigonometric function, then we can use the analytical integration to solve it. However, if the integrand is given in complicated function or discrete data format, then we can solve the problem by using the analytical integration. In this case, we have to use the numerical integration to solve it. This is the analogy between the integration and the summation. Let the y to be the height, and this is the discrete data from 6 person. If you want to compute the total height or the summation height from this 6 person, then you can take the summation i equal to 1 until n equal to 6. Substitute i equal to 1 inside your obtain y1, then you continue with i equal to 2, and so on until y6. So this is your y1 information, which is 4, this is your y2. So when you take the total summation of this 6 sample, then you should able to obtain the answer to be 25.7. On the other hand, if you collect infinite number of samples within A and B here, and take the summation of the area for each sample from sample 1 to infinity sample by taking the step size delta x approximate to 0. The area that you obtain from this formula will be the same with the integration result here by taking the integration of the fx function from the limit a to b. So you see when you perform an integration for a function from a to b limit here then you obtain the area under the curve performing the integration is like taking the summation so when you take the summation of area for each individual sample here then you can obtain the same total area as well similar to the integration if you continue with the discrete data here and you want to find the mean you need to divide the total height divided by the number of samples. So in this case, the number of samples is 6. So after you divide it, you obtain the mean. If you have a fx function here, and you want to find the mean for this function, then you can take the integration divided by the n, where the n is the width from b to a. If the a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 5 here, you can find the n by taking b minus a, which is equal to 4 here. Then you can find the mean by using this formula. In this case, you want to integrate a function that is quite complicated. So we cannot use the analytical integration to solve it. What you can do is to extract the discrete data from the continuous function here. So let this function to be fx. And then since you want to integrate from 0 to 2, so you can choose the x within this range. If you plot the fx function, on the fx versus the x graph, then you will get this curve. The result of this integration for the fx function will be the area under this curve. You can estimate this area by taking the summation of area for these four rectangular bars. In this case, we call it to be 4 segments. So the range of the data here is equal to 2. Then divided by the 4 segments, you obtain 0 0.5 for each segment. Where you can see the width of each bar here is equal to 0 0.5. To compute the area, you need the height of each bar. So when you take the height multiplied with the width, which is 0 0.5, then you obtain the area for one bar. Then if you repeat the same procedure for other bar, 
you can obtain the area for this four bar and take the summation then you can get approximation to the sorted area so this method is called the strip method it is a numerical method which use rectangular bar like this in order to estimate the integral this method is non-computer method which is stable for manual calculation purpose by using this method we estimate the height for each bar here at the middle of the segment so you need the height at 0 0.25 0 0.75 1.25 and 1.75 substitute the x value into the fx function then you should able to obtain the corresponding height here and the width of each bar is equal to 0 0.5 which is the delta x step size so you can find the area for each segment by taking multiplication between the height and the width 2.599 multiplied 0 0.5 give you 1.2995 and so on when you take the summation of the area you should obtain this result so this is the result that you estimate for the integration here by using the script method in this case you only use four segments to perform the integration and you see there is a mismatch in terms of the area that you compute with the actual area for example there is a missing area here and there is additional area here this is known as the truncation error so in order to reduce the truncation error in order to increase the accuracy of the estimation you can increase the number of segments when the number of segments is increased, then the step size will be reduced.